Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be a best of three from the WCA uh, Korean qualifiers, I believe. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Um, I'll switch over to a spectator. We have an orc mirror, probably the one of the one of the rarest matchups we see these days, mainly because orc players are pretty hard to come by, especially within the Asian regions. Um, I can't speak for the European or elsewhere, but there are very few uh, high-level orc players that play in yeah, these kind of tournaments. So, of course, the main two are Focus, spawning in as the blue orc player in the bottom right, and Fly, the red orc in the top left. Um, yeah, Orc Mirror, it's probably just going to be standard standard stuff here, like, I don't think there's any Orc specific uh, strategies to go by, I think it's just whoever gets the better Blade Master wins, uh, so yeah, we'll see that. Um, it's rather quiet, I guess, uh, not much to talk about, I'll just speed this up a little bit because I am kind of... Uh, tight on time. Uh, you guys probably realize that school is rather rather intensive on the workload, I think. Um, or I might just not, not be managing my time very well, but regardless, uh, having a tough time here. Blade Master out for Fly, and he should... I don't know what he should be doing, honestly. Uh, he could go for harassment early on, but I don't think you would find Blade much when harassing an orc, orc opponent, so it could just be selling that TP scroll, buying a circlet. He's actually going to pick up the dust as well, so I don't think uh, Focus will be able to pick that up himself. He will have to go over to the next merchant. I think Focus was trying to deny uh, fly from those items. Oh, look at that. Uh, Focus could potentially get off a Windwalk Strike there, but uh, since he is an item down, I don't think it is wise to do so. Stronghold tick for both players. It does seem like Fly got his a little earlier than his opponent. Focus might actually lose himself a peon there. And yes, it will. First experience over two. Uh, fly is a Blade Master. Looking pretty good so far for Fly. Of course, Focus is having a lot of dead time basically because he he really doesn't have much to do. Uh, he could go over to the the right side and pick up his own items, but he is not doing that so far. At least he's not engaging in too much combat with the opponent, Blade Master. As I say that, he is taking quite a few hits. Uh, but that should be that. Nothing too exciting is really happening. Grunts are going to clear out this green creep camp, giving some long distance experience over to uh, the Blade Master and the Circlet. No Circlet, but it is going to be Boots, so that will be rather difficult for the oppos opponent Blade Master to chase, unless he win walks, of course. Okay, so what is Focus going to do? A player's forces are under attack. Is under He's just going to go for harassment on the peons. Meanwhile, Fly is continuing to farm up with his Blade Master. He should get level two after uh, this creep camp, I think. Uh, I don't know how much that early peon would have done, but here comes Focus with a good number of grunts here, and he is going to. Look, try and kill off that Blade Master. Low hit point grunt right in the back. It might get killed off by the Blade Master, but the Knoll is trying its best and it actually denies uh, the kill right there. So, a little unlucky bad timing there from Fly. Focus. Uh, he got pretty fortunate that his grunt got denied by the Knoll. And Fly is going to have to back off, pick up a couple of Sal's because. Well, he, he dedicated some health to try and kill off that Grunt, and sadly he didn't get rewarded with anything. This Grunt might actually be picked off here for Focus, but 
Uh, he is making his way over to possibly a creep camp to deny himself, but uh, he is walking in the wrong direction, so that might not be the case. Overseer is going to be cleared out by Focus. That will give a huge boost in experience over to him. And he is pretty much one camp away from two as well. Bruno Fly is already level two. He is taking out his own Overseer camp on his side. Oh, that was very close. Um, oh, he should not reveal himself. That is going to be so dangerous, but Focus does not have a dust. And that is going to be a a fast-fingered uh, Blade Master there. Of course, as soon as he saw that Blade Master, instantly went back into Windwalk. And that, I mean, if he was, Focus was a little earlier, he might have been able to pick that off, but ah, to no avail, I guess. Shadow Hunter coming out for uh, Fly. It's been a while since we have seen the Shadow Hunter. Uh, mainly, we've been seeing Orc Night Elf matchups, so that pretty much encourages a lot more turn chieftains than normal. So, yeah, Shadow Hunter will be coming out. Most likely, Hex start here. Should be Hex start. I mean, if he had Healing Wave, he would, probably would have done it by now, and he will initiate with the Hex on the Ogre Magi. Blade Master is around from focus. Will he be able to do much? I don't really know. I mean, he might be able to pick up a Trapper here, but he needs to be a little careful. Fly is the one with the Dust, I think? No, actually. Uh, who has the Dust? Oh, okay. Yeah, Fly does have the Dust. It is on that Shadow Hunter, but... Yeah, I don't know if the Blade Master is going to pick up anything himself. That is not going to be the case. Tom Agility being dropped there. The Ogre Magi is left. Shadow Hunter farming up himself to get those early levels, and the item is going to be the Talisman of Evasion over to the Shadow Hunter. Pretty good when you're trying to uh, stay alive against the Blade Master, I guess. So that item will most likely be, uh, be kept. And it should be the standard Players stuff here, Raiders, and Spirit Walkers, and a couple of coders to add into the mix. I have no idea what actually got dropped here, but it was most likely a consumable item, nothing too nothing too exciting. Scroll of Protection gets picked up by the Shadow Under, so that is an interesting buy. Uh, focus definitely looking to I guess fight rather rather soon. Or that might just be there just in case he gets caught out. Um, who knows, early Coda Beast for Fly Focus, on the other hand, is currently Coda Beast less, so yeah, he is waiting on that. Blade Master did pick up the Greater Healing Potion from this Magi Camp, so that was a pretty good steal. I don't think he got uh, the actual experience, but the item is good enough anyway. Dust, uh, Scroll of Protection is going to be used but Focus is going to choose to retreat. He's just using it to reduce the amount of damage he gets. No, he's going to continue on with the fight. Troll Warlord is still tossing his axes away. Uh, currently picking his litter between the blue and the red team. Lots of Windwalks here and it seems like both players are just trading uh, their units. No, fo no clear Focus Fire on any of the heroes. It's pretty much just the Raiders going down. And it is going to be focused, he's choosing to retreat here, and it seems like Spirit Walker, oh, is just going to go back into ethereal form, prevent that Blade Master from picking off when, with the Windwalk Strike, and yeah, that's not good for focus at all. Uh, Fly, having a level 3 Blade Master seems like it is doing quite a lot, having that 30 extra damage from the Windwalk level 2 is definitely a lot more helpful than uh, whatnot, I guess. And of course, having that Kodo Beast probably uh, did a good number on on Focus's units as well. As you can see here, a Grunt has been completely taken out of the game, as it has been devoured by uh, that Kodo Beast. And the Sobi Mask gets picked up by the Blade Master, transferred over to the Shadow Hunter, so... Yep, always keeping up those Hexes and Healing Waves. The Shadow Hunter is going to be bringing a lot more value than uh, Focus's own Shadow Hunter, sadly. Rock Golem gets taken down, and it's going to be the greater of uh, the Giant's Belt, so. Uh, six Strength is 
Probably not going to do much, especially for a Blade Master. He is going to get caught out by Fly's army here after being uh, heavily wounded by that Rock Golem camp. This might actually be a quick victory here from Fly. Coda Beast is going to get taken down. Meanwhile, Fly still has his own, so he could devour a pretty beefy unit and pretty much focus is just going to be left with his two heroes, which won't be good. Level 4 on the Blade Master, he still has the Great Inclosure just in case. Coda Beast is being focused down. We have brought a lot of peons here from Focus, but will it be enough? Who knows? GT for Focus, and that is going to be Fly's victory. Uh, and that was pretty quick. Um... Yeah, um, I, I don't know really. Fl Fly just basically had better opportunities, and he took them. Focus, uh, yeah, he was just rather unlucky. Uh, that's all I can really say. So let's go over to game two.